Welcome back everybody to T-Shirt Driving. Today's video is a little bit different. It's not an install video, but it's uh, everything you need to know to do a final drive installation and the LSD installation. So we're gonna go over everything you need from all the different bearings. The part numbers will be listed in the description. Um, anything that maybe it's briefly you see in the video, I'll make sure to put in the description from part numbers um, and things of that sort. So let's go over first the LSD. Um, this is the open diff, the OEM one. The wave track is at home right now. We're uh, at my work, but um, to replace the LSD on it, um, I went ahead and went with a Ford Performance or Mountune uh, kit that comes with it. And inside the kit comes all new uh, axle seals. The hardware or bolts for swapping out the ring gears. And then also, which you don't see in the bag, but is uh, new races, which we've already installed, which you guys already saw in the last video. And that is what you need for the LSD install, along with possibly some shims after you do your measurements. Fortunate for me, um, I was able to do all my measurements and I don't need to change the shims. So I went ahead and I bought all the shims so I get to return all those. So let's go on to the next point. So with the final drive ratio, when you order the kit, there's something you really need to make sure you add onto the list. It's this guy. It's the main pinion bearing. So I bought mine through Puma Speed. You can also buy it through Cisco Developments, I believe. And this is something that is not available in the United States. I checked um, all the dealerships and when they looked it up with the part diagram, I have it somewhere. Um, and they you know, check their manufacturers and all that for discontinued it in the United States. So the only way to get this triangular bearing, which goes on the output shaft is through Puma Speed or Cisco Developments or the United Kingdom. So that is a very important piece to get. You can't get it here again. The other things you need, you need three more bearings. Um, two of them have been removed, as you have already seen. Then the other ones have remained on the stock sixth gear Ugh. and your gears or larger shaft here. So the other thing you'll notice is this one, when you remove it from the transmission, doesn't remove the actual bearings. The bearing stays seated into the transmission, so that's why they look a little bit different if you're noticing that. So that is something that also needs to be swapped out is this bearing inside the transmission housing it needs to be swapped out for the new one to fit there. Although something, if you wanted to cheat, I'll show you. It does fit perfectly on that with no movement at all. So you could cheat if you wanted to and not replace that if you didn't have the tools or knowledge on how to do that, um, that's something you can do as well. So when you get your final drive kit, another thing you need is this retainer bolt. And the retainer bolt goes to the top of here and it holds in your main pinion bearing. As you can see on that, it holds it right in. To remove this, there was a lot of heat needed. Um, that when I took it to the transmission shop, they said they had to use a ton of heat to make sure that this came off. You can actually see the scorch marks because it had, you know, factory Loctite on there. Um, this is the new setup. And with the new setup, we've got the shorter final drive ratio in here and all the gears have been pressed on. So they removed this bottom piece here they kept the top one on because it's still on the, the factory one. And then they went ahead and they put all the gears back how they're supposed to be. And I went ahead and made sure to have a transmission shop do this. It costs an extra $140 roughly. Um, Summit Transmissions in La Mesa, California. Shout out to them. Thank you very much. And totally worth it. Peace of mind. The only thing that I have to say because, again, nobody else has done this. It was a month wait. So the video you saw two weeks ago, that was 
in real time a month and two weeks ago. So there was a long wait, but now you guys know what to order with all the different part numbers. So this is one of them. Another part number. And again, too, some of them say bushings and bearings, but it'll get you all the stuff you need. The one that says retainer, that is for the bolt. And again, I will list these, these part numbers in the description again. Also, before I forget, this is going to be a, my shortest video, is if you want to see updates of things that are happening ahead of time before I make the videos, you can follow me on Instagram at t-shirt driving as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment as well. I want to know your guys' opinions. I want to do a Q&A um, with answering your guys' questions and things like that. So go ahead, leave a question in the comments. Um, we'll be doing a Q&A once the entire engine is back together, which should be in a couple weeks. If you're following me on Instagram, I posted an awesome picture today of what is to come, what we've all been waiting for. So I'll see you guys next time.